Hello, I'm Nick Brian Kins, Director of the Media Arts Technology Centre at Queen Mary University of London in the UK. Hello, I'm Zin Li, come from Musicology Department at China Conservatory of Music. In the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to give you an overview of our paper on reimagining cross-cultural co-creation of a Chinese traditional musical instrument with digital technologies. This was a cross-cultural co-creation activity undertaken in London and Beijing last year. Now, many traditional instruments, their performance practice and cultural context are being lost as a result of socio-economic changes across the world. Let's take a look at one example, the Du Chenqing, which we study in this paper. Oh, that sounds beautiful. The Du Chen Ching is an interesting and unusual musical instrument. It features a single string, point two here, that is plucked to produce harmonics whose pitch can be modified by the player using the joystick, point one. The Du Chen Ching has over a thousand years of history. Nowadays, the Du Chen Ching is a traditional musical instrument in southwestern Guangxi province, China, mainly played by the Jing ethnic minority people. As well as taking steps to preserve and reinvigorate traditional cultural heritage, such as the Du Ching and its performance practice, we can use digital technologies to reimagine elements of traditional cultural heritage, to raise their public profile and expose them to new audiences. Our research in reimagining traditional elements through digital technology is at the intersection of digital musical instrument design, cross-cultural research and co-creation practice. The key aspect of this reimagining is that the essence of the traditional instrument is retained somehow through the digital technology. To explore digital reimagining of traditional instruments further, we ask these following research questions. Research question one, how to engage participants from a range of cultures and disciplines together? Research question two, what is the essence of the traditional Du Chen Ching? In order to explore these questions, we undertook cross-cultural co-creation of a digitally reimagined Du Cheng Ching. To do this, we brought together 24 people. Uh, there were eight from the UK and 16 from China. We structured our co-creation activities into four parts. The first stage, introducing, was two months of online discussions and preparations through WeChat, a very popular Chinese social media platform. Next stage focuses on immersion in the traditional cultures of both Du Cheng Ching and Nine. This helped us to identify the essence of the Du Chang Ching, which was, in order of priority, firstly, the joystick, gesture control, which can control the pitch. Secondly, the tombo, which is a very soft sound of the Du Chang Ching produced by harmonics. And thirdly, the single string, the key physical feature and limitation of the Du Chang Ching. Next, we moved into a three day co creation stage to reimagine the Du Chang Ching together. Just for fun, let's have a look at three days of co-creation compressed into a few seconds. Oh, that was fun. It really brought many memories back to me. Here are the three reimagined Du Cheng Ching designed and produced during the co-creation. These were called Polychin, Digi Chin, and Okto Chin. Each reimagined Du Cheng Ching used Bella to provide real-time sound sampling, sample playback, and pitch modification. Polychin is an augmented Du Cheng Ching that can play multiple sounds simultaneously. 
The Ji Ching in the middle retains the Du Chen Ching essence of joystick and tomba and replaces a single string with touch sensitive strips to trigger playback of individual notes. Of Tou Chin on the right is a radical reimagining of the Du Chen Ching and yet retains enough of the essence for it to function in ensemble performance. In this way, all three reimagined Du Chen Ching retain the essence of joystick and tomba and the poly chin additionally retains the essence of single string performance. The final co-creation stage culminated in a public performance at the Central Conservatory of Music in Beijing to showcase the features of the reimagined Du Chen Ching. The composers created special compositions to explore the expressive potential of each reimagined instrument. All pieces are in a traditional Chinese music style, incorporating a small number of modernist and electronic music elements. Let's watch a video of some of the performance. Wow, wonderful, love it. After the final performance, we conducted 19 interviews to collect feedback about the overall plan and the structure of the workshop and so on. Four key themes emerged in the feedback. Firstly, the communication and design process. Unsurprisingly, nearly all participants felt that language was the biggest obstacle in the entire co-creation process. And they also noted that our design process was rather rushed in such a short time in Beijing. Despite the difficulties, participants commented that they thoroughly enjoyed the cooperation with most people taking a multidisciplinary approach. On culture and digital technology immersion, participants noted that they particularly enjoyed the cultural immersion at their Guqin base, but felt that it was not long enough. Similarly, it was difficult for participants with no technical knowledge to immerse themselves in the digital music instrument culture. In terms of views on the reimagined Du Chang Ching, for the Polychin, Chinese musicians reported that it retained the traditional playing style and is easier for professional musicians to use than other reimagined instruments. For the DigiChin, performers reported that the discrete key sounds from the bamboo tube solves the problems of too few overtone positions of the traditional instrument, but it severely constrained uh, its performance in terms of subtlety and intimacy. And finally, for the Octochin, half the participants reported that it is a creative, touchable, interesting, attractive, and novel instrument. The general feeling was that it was very cute and could be a good product for children and possibly good use in the music therapy. So what did we learn from all this? Please take a look at our paper for detailed reflection on our research questions, as well as suggestions for how our approach can be improved and how you could use our approach in your digital reimaginings. To sum up, in our paper, we reported on our approach to reimagining the Du Chen Ching through digital technology. We undertook co-creation activities remotely and co-located to identify the essence of the Du Chen Ching and co-created free reimagined Du Chen Ching. These reimagined Du Chen Ching captured some of the essence of the Du Chen Ching and were performed in public with specially composed music. In future activities, we would impose a more constrained design space and attempt to engage composers and performers in more of the digital aspects of the making. And finally, the cross-cultural collaboration would be improved by offering more chances for participants to experiment. Many thanks to all the participants, organizations, and funding bodies who made this research possible. Thank you, and that concludes our presentation.